What's happening guys? I hope all is well. This video is a two-parter. The first part is a little announcement, then the second part is a chair review from one of our sponsors, GT Omega Chairs. So firstly, some of you will know, and some may not, that my Battlefield team, uh, the one I'm currently playing for, recently changed organisations. We were playing for Exertus Esports, which is an American organisation, but we left for Pastures New. I won't go into details as to why that was, but we decided a, a change was in order. We are now representing a UK organisation called Infused Esports. I'll put a link to the website in the description. Go, go check it out and check out their sponsors as well. They're a fantastic organisation, extremely professional, and we hope that together we can achieve great things. They've really made us feel at home. And I think the future for us as a team and moving forward with the organisation, you know, looks really promising. We're currently competing in the UK Open Series, which is sponsored by Razer and um, partnered with ESL. Uh, and we won our first cup in that actually a few days ago. Uh, we'll be competing in more of those. I think they're every two weeks. Um, and we're going to be representing Infused at the upcoming UK LAN Insomnia 51, which is in Coventry. Uh, where we've, we're going to aim for a top one finish, definitely. You shouldn't aim any lower uh, when we compete in the Battlefield 4 tournament over there. Exams and other things have meant that we've not really been playing as a team as frequently as we would have liked over the past few weeks. But now exams have died down for a couple of our guys. We're going to up the ante a little bit and start practicing uh, a lot more than we have been. The Timefall beta was out, people had exams, you know how it is. So we hadn't practiced as, as much as we would have liked, but that's going to change now and we're going to start to really, really up the practice over the next couple of months uh, in the build up to I-51. We're also hoping to qualify for the second ESL EMS season and that's starting pretty soon as well. I think that starts next month. Overall, we're really excited for what the future holds uh, with Infused and for the team as well. And if you're in the UK and you'll be attending Insomnia 51, then feel free to pop by and uh, say hello. Now, moving on to the chair in the form of the GT Omega Pro Office Chair. I was kindly given this chair by our sponsors, and I want to give you a fair and just review of it and its pros and cons. So, firstly, the packaging. It came packaged very well. The box it came in was very sturdy. Each individual element in the box was individually wrapped in uh, bubble wrap, and then it had a box with all the smaller components like the wheels um, and like the main fork of the chair as well. Now I'm not actually going to show you me setting it up because I think that's going to be a little bit boring. So I've kind of skipped a few steps to show you how you would set it up. The first thing that you do is you attach the back seat with a couple of screws. The Allen Cree is actually provided so that's nice and simple. You then put the guards on via some screws on the sides. Nice and easy. You then simply attach the wheels to the base. Couldn't be any easier. You attach the lever to the bottom of the chair. And then you put the fork on, sits on, job done. It's really that simple. It, it is a little bit awkward because the screws always don't line up with sort of flat pack sort of things. But overall, it's really simple to put together. And you even get two sets of wheels. One's a basic set of wheels. The other one's got some alloy spokes on it, which is straight up baller. It's not a big thing, but it's a nice touch nonetheless. Overall, guys, I'm extremely happy with the chair. The version I got is made out of leather. Uh, it's very, very well done. The stitching is very nice. You can get fabric ones as well. I got a red and black one, which I think looks amazing. You are able to get different color ones as well. It's actually currently on sale on their website for, I think it's $149.99. So if a new chair is something you are looking at, then get it while it is on discount right now. It's extremely comfortable to sit in. It keeps you in a really good position as well. It has two pillows, one is for your neck, it also has a lumbar uh, support pillow which you can use. I don't necessarily use them, but you can use them. The instructions on putting it together, really simple. In my opinion, it could do with being a little bit bigger. I've had a similar chair to this that was a little bit wider. It could do with maybe being a little bit more wider, but overall, it's extremely comfortable. The armrests come up and down, they swivel around, and that's a nice touch as well. Now let's be honest here, this is not going to make you a better gamer. But if you need a new chair and you want something that's going to be comfortable for long play times, keep you in a good posture, this is definitely it and I would definitely recommend it. The test though, is what does the dog think? And as you can see, he bloody loves it. He just loves it. Doesn't want to get off it. 
In fact, he'll never get off it. It's just so damn comfortable that he will never... Okay, he's got off it. Catch you on the next one.